Okay, thank you. My last name is Kozaliski, but there's no problem. I'm out of Gallup, New Mexico, and I'm a ready mix producer, and I've been a member of ACI for over 50 years. And uh, what I have here is a presentation on the recycling. Uh, it's my method of how to take all this work that's being done in research at the universities and uh, putting it into practicality so that uh, we can put it into industry. And with people discussing now the carbon footprint and all these different items to recycle, uh, like I said, I've been a ready mix producer and many years ago we started crushing, taking concrete and crushing it. And it uh, was very good for aggregate base cores. But we've had trouble getting people interested in looking at this because nobody's pushing recycling, a lot of recycling. So uh, I'm going to give you my ideas on this. So the presentation is to cover the how to design a mix using recycled concrete base and uh, be able to make strength, pump it. The concrete will turn gray and it can crack. I'm not going to say it's not going to crack. This mix is, uh, has been used on some areas. We don't use it all the time. And, uh, you know, we process it and make it. And we've done a couple of jobs with uh, the recycle country, and I see no problems with it. Now, we need to collect the material. Um, the back, the back there is, uh, this is one pile we had years ago. This is some asphalt, and this is from previous work where we had uh, the rebar that was left over. So you, you need to work to collect it and try to keep it separated. Now, concrete is brought in for recycling. Generally, you ask people to bring it in in about two foot square pieces or something smaller than that. Because we had some people that were bringing in half of a bridge beam and you could do nothing with it. So we had to uh, bring it in and line it up. And uh, it takes a while to bring it in unless Gallup is a remote area along I-40 near the Four Corners. Those of you that are familiar with the United States, we're near the Four Corners. And this material comes in. There's some areas that some cinder blocks are in there, but this is how we collect this material. And uh, this picture here is typical of all the re of wire mesh. See it here on the bottom? We've been taught, we talk about it all the meetings that it's all on the bottom and every bit of the wire mesh that is brought into our operation is strictly on the bottom. I mean, it helps tear concrete out. It's all on the bottom. And then this here was a piece of equipment that we had to crush the concrete and break it down to, to feed it into the crusher. Uh, so this is another way of processing some of the concrete. Now this is a breaker that we use to um, go through the pile so when the excavator picks it up, it, um, it's small enough to go into the crusher. Because we collect uh, the recycled concrete for about two years and then we go in and crush it. Now this presentation will be on the ACI uh, convention site. There's no proprietary information here. It's all to be used. Nothing's classified.
it just breaks the uh, the pieces of concrete uh, within seconds of uh, the power to break it. You can rent these uh, people to uh, take care of it. And then this is a smaller uh, breaker that we have used uh, to break concrete. It all depends what's available. If you have a large excavator where you can put a, a breaker on there, it's, uh, it's usable. But if not, you can use a smaller one. It all depends on the people bringing it in. A lot of this comes in with... Uh, two or three dump trucks at a time. Then these are some of the crushers. This is uh, some of the crusher. The one on the, on the left is a jaw crusher where it breaks down the concrete. The one on the right is an impact crusher. There's uh, the jaw crusher and the impact crusher. And the, we break it down to uh, Feed the con uh, concrete into a jaw crusher. It's called a 32, 42 inch jaw. And this is how it, it works. Uh, the jaw crusher works on the feed table. Uh, when I take these pictures, it's hard to see uh, where you're taking them in the, in the, during the, the daylight hours. So that's why I didn't get that big piece of concrete falling in the jar. Now this is the material coming out of the uh, jaw crusher. As you can say, see it's all broken down to about uh, four or five inches. And this material is going uh, into an impact crusher to break it down even further. This is the impact crusher and as you can see, the oversize is coming coming back into the impact pressure to uh, break all the material down. This is a, you know, but to get all this material together and get all the equipment gets to be quite expensive. Now this is uh, some of the material of the rebar that we pick up. It's been very interesting, uh, the type of material that's in the concrete. Uh, we found some uh, spark plugs. Don't ask me how spark plugs got in there, but uh, somebody had some spark plugs and some concrete. Uh, this is the magnet that throws it into uh, into the first uh, collector, and then we pick it up and put it into uh, bins to uh, send it to be recycled. Now this is the uh, the recycle the equipment on the left. We take the, uh, all the rebar, pick it up, and they press it together and make bundles. And you can uh, take it and package it up. Then you can send it to people that will take the rebar and recycle the rebar, because this can get to be a big problem. If you are gonna do recycling, you wanna take this material and, and recycle it. All, all of it. Now, after the material's been broken up, it generally comes into, uh, as I call it, a recycled concrete aggregate base course, because there's fines in there. If you're doing a process, you can shake out the fines and rescreen it and just use the coarse aggregate. We use just the straight base course, the way it came out. And this is some more of the material as it was broken up, the excavator will pick it up and uh, put it all into the crusher. And this is an excavator feeding the crusher. Uh, it's a very easy way to do it. The thing in the back is called the thumb and it'll hold the, the material there. This is another small one 
uh, feed the pressure. Now this is how they're feeding the pressure with the excavator. This is going into the jaw, and then it'll go into the uh, into the impact. Now, the point on the left is a transfer point, as we call it, and this is where you want to get your samples to find out what the gradation is. Please don't go to a stockpile and say, I'm going to get an idea of what's there. This is a, uh, a location to pick up the uh, samples. You want to take one like every hour on the hour, put a five-gallon bucket in there and pull a sample, and then take it to the lab and see what you're crushing and what's in there. Then the other one on the right shows the magnet that catches the rock and throws it uh, into, the, into the bin for recycling. Then it goes into a stockpile and is put into the, uh, into the base course pile. We came up with a second magnet because of all the small pieces of wire mesh that are in there. So this is the... Uh, to uh, recycle uh, magnets that are pulling it out. Now this is a smaller magnet that we were using last year. We put it just above the, the belt. And this is some of the material. At one time, some people were, were crushing and they did not use magnets. And there was a whole lot of, uh, uh, what should I say? little nails and wires, and there's a lot of flat tires. So you want to make sure that you're going to get the flat tires or get rid of the flat tires and collect the wire. It's interesting what all we picked up. Now the uh, recycled concrete base is crushed, ready for concrete. Aggregate again. One of the problems we have is little pieces of wood. Uh, you have to float the water or get the recycled base in water so that you can float the wood out and, and um, get rid of it so you can put it into the concrete. Don't use it with, because if the wood will float, it will float to the top of the concrete. Run gradations to see what you have, and this is what you call sustainable using concrete. Now the building code, this section of the building code says that you can use Recycle concrete. So uh, study this, and these are two of the uh, ideas on what you need to do to use your recycle concrete. But like I said, you don't want any wood in it because it'll all float to the top. As you're finishing, later on you'll have all the wood at the very top. Now you have a sustainable concrete mix. Okay, this is uh, the program I use. It's from Gary Knight, and we um, put the aggregate base course into the, uh, the gradation tables, and I use the 45 power curve to combine my aggregates. And this is what the raw base course looked like with, uh, with the fines. It's all on the fine side. But if you keep it along the 45 power curve, you're going to get real good concrete. So then I come back and I added some uh, number some number four or clean 57 on the left, and the base course on the right's got like 10 percent 200. So this is uh, where you want to have your mixes. And then if on a 45 power curve, this is what it looks like on a 45 power curve. This is a good way to uh, put mixes together. So then part of the tarantula curve that uh, Oklahoma State came up with, 20% of 57 stone is added, and you fit in the tarantula curve other than your high on the right on the percent passing the 200. The coarseness factor charts writes where it should be. And then you pump it. This is uh, we were pumping foundations. And 
looks like normal concrete. Nothing to be afraid of. We get people that allow us to deliver recycled concrete from driveways, sidewalks, and things like this. But you can't find any architect or engineer that'll buy off on it. Now these are some slope pavings that we did five years ago. Perfect concrete. There's no pop-outs, no anything, no nothing. It's just good looking concrete. Now these are some scales that we did. Up at uh, 8,500 feet, there's a lot of freeze thaw cycles. This is up in the mountain. Been up there about three or four years. Absolutely nothing is breaking up. Just looks like normal concrete. These are some of the test reports uh, that we've come up with that we test our concrete. We get the right air, slump, and strength. And strength can be achieved. Trained air can be achieved. Do not be afraid. Keep the wood out of it because it'll float to the top. Sometimes metal uh, can be used in the base and it won't hurt. In summary, monitor the aggregate gradations. Uh, may have to use some additional rock to clean it up a little bit, but uh, the normal weight, the plastic can weight is a little bit lighter. So, uh, you know, you can even clean it up. And this is where New Mexico is located, and this is my information. I'm sorry I've gone over a little bit, Mr. Chairman. So.